And ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome to our annual industry dinner. It's such a pleasure to see so many friends, old and new, here with us this evening. Especially now they've turned the lights off and I can actually see some of you. What an extraordinary year it's been for our country and our industry. If you'd listed at last year's dinner all the challenges that we'd have to face, I might have asked the wine waiters to slow down a bit, or perhaps even speed up. It's been a really interesting year, and at times testing too. I can't remember when retail has been under closer scrutiny. We face a tough trading environment, EU negotiations, unprecedented changes in the way that people shop and the way that retail businesses operate. How we deal with these will keep retail firmly in the spotlight. <laughs> but I know you, and I know that you will rise to the challenges and the opportunities just brilliantly. It's one of the things I love most about this industry. And the BRC has got a job to do too. On Brexit, we did some great work before the referendum, and now we have to make sure that the results of the negotiations are as good as they can be for UK retailers. And this isn't the only topic that we need to be focusing on. We all know that the reputation of the industry has taken a knock recently as a result of the way that some businesses have managed their people. And while the vast majority set a great example that other industries would do well to follow, we also know that the debates around zero hours contracts, low pay, career progression, won't go away anytime soon. But, as is so often the case, the answer to our critics is within our own grasp. That's why we started our Retail 2020 project. We all knew that the industry needed to work together in a different way. Back in February, our first report found that due to increasing costs, investment in technology, and shifting dy market dynamics, that there could be up to 900,000 fewer jobs in retail by 2025. But it's the very nature of the jobs in our industry that are changing. Of the three million people who work in retail today, 100,000 of them are in roles that didn't even exist in their businesses just five years ago. From social media managers to digital marketeers, this morning, we launched the third report of our Retail 2020 project. It focuses on a shared vision of the journey to better jobs in retail. A vision that's been endorsed by over 40 companies, many of whom are in the room tonight, who together employ more than 1.2 million people. So what's the report that we launched today all about? It's about harnessing and developing new skills for the digital age. It's about delivering better on the things that are important to the people who work in retail. And it's about investing in our people and our businesses to make them more productive. We're recognizing that individual companies will tackle many of these challenges alone. But there are things that require the entire industry to come together. That's why our shared vision is so important. It shows that the industry understands that we have a duty to make sure our continued success doesn't come at the expense of either our customers or our dedicated colleagues. And it proves once again that British retailing has its eye firmly on the future. Now I'd like to thank Sir Charlie Mayfield, our former chairman, for his leadership on this work 
and all the HR directors, CEOs and businesses that have been involved to date. This work isn't going to turn the spotlight away from retail. But I hope that you'll agree that it will improve the conversation and help set the industry on the road to a more productive future. And if you're not already, then please do get involved. Remember, it's only by working together that we can chart a course for the industry that is more successful than ever. And helping us steer that course, the chairman of Whitbread, of DFS, our new chairman, Richard Baker. I know that his expertise, excitement, and enthusiasm will be of great benefit to me, to the BRC, and to the work that we do on your behalf.